turn around towards me. I see him every single time I go on a walk, but uh, yeah, his name's Cheese, or her name's Cheese, I always say his, but it's the Leah her. But yeah. You're so pretty. Yeah, I see her out, or I see her like out here at 2 a.m. sometimes. I'm gonna go to Walmart right afterwards to get some meat, because we need lots of red meat to feel optimal for the gym. Wow. You're gonna get colon cancer. God damn, you're looking huge, bro. Huh? You're looking huge, bro. Go huh? out, pussy. Huh? Go out. You little bitch. Oh, fuck, bro. That shit's scary. You go out first, bro. You got it. You got it first, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> Alright, we gotta fucking. Go out. Go. Oh. I gotta close the door, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, there's ketchup. <laughs> Don't question it. Don't question it. We're gonna spit game and uh, talk to all the women there. Just kidding. In reality, we're gonna sit there and talk about how sigma we are and. In reality, not talk to a single woman whatsoever. But hopefully it's not too crowded because whenever it's crowded, maybe this should be being stupid, but I feel like everyone always stares too much at the pool. It's always kind of awkward because whenever you walk in, you have to walk kind of for like 30 seconds or so, and it's always awkward because everyone's just staring at you the entire time. And you don't know what to say because you don't want to be like, hey everyone, but you also don't want to be like awkward and not look at them. So it's kind of strange. You don't know what to really do, but yeah. Who's this douchebag with the camera recording himself? The fucking narcissistic guy. Who's this narcissistic douchebag, bro? It's gonna be problematic. We're gonna be controversial here. We're gonna start problems. Before we go to the pool, we have a little pregame ritual where we come to the bathroom because, you know, obviously, a lot of you sick right here. So, you gotta hype yourself up and then go to the pool and not talk to a single woman whatsoever. So, uh, let's do it. People yeah. around and also families around, so it's like. I can try to vlog and be charismatic, but it's just not gonna flow very well. <laughs> See, it's also like, it's gonna be a process. You guys, are you recording right now? Are you recording? Yeah, I've been. Yeah. It's like, it's gonna be a process, you guys. We're gonna slowly, see me slowly get uh, less awkward and more charismatic on camera. It's already better than beforehand whenever I was vlogging with the phone. So, it's a process. Just give me more time. But, uh, it's kind of awkward whenever I'm filming <laughs> right next to a family. And also, you know, other people that are just like conscious kids. But it's a process. So, give it time. We're all gonna grow together spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, and live happily ever after. There you go. Where are we going? We're going to Walmart. We're on the way to Walmart. So our agenda for today is go to Walmart, get some meat, because I gotta have some beef and, uh, and rice before the gym. Cause I'm still having rice, because right now I'm still force feeding every single meal in the cut. Currently eating 2,800 calories and weighed 188.8 this morning and I started at 204 pounds. You probably noticed if you saw me like peak bulk through either TikTok or Instagram or even on YouTube, my face probably looks a lot leaner. As well as just later in the video, you'll see where we work out. You know, my body is actually way leaner too. More vascularity, better ab definition, all that stuff. So, but yeah, back to the beef and rice. We're gonna do that and then eat that, take a shower, go to the gym, probably around 5.30, 5.45. Hopefully it's not too crowded. It hasn't been crowded the last few times we've been there around that time. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I said let them know what you're doing. All right, so we should back in the store. Now I'm gonna my pre-workout meal, which is gonna be two beef patties, just the patties, and half a cup of rice, which is 90 grams. So you see me weigh it all out, it's gonna be not that interesting, but you know, this is the ritual that I do every single day. I have the same foods every single day, and yeah, that's how you feel optimal when it comes to nutrition, recovery, and overall 
adequacy when it comes to filling your best when it comes to the gym. So, I'm gonna try that. That sounds boring as fuck, bro. <laughs> I'm excited about eating these again. I've not had these in literally like two months because they're always out of stock because, you know, chicken's out of stock, beef is always out of stock. Oh, for, you know, supply chain reasons. But these are so delicious. I don't know what it is about it, but this, compared to making my own patties with you know, this beef, entirely different. You know, it's a completely different ball game. I don't know why, because all it is is just a different formation of the patty, but it makes it so much better. I think it's just because it's, you know, crispier and overall it's more thin less juicy and better overall. So we're gonna burn the hell out of these and <laughs> make them look aesthetic. Let me speed it up too. Speed it up, have some music over it. Give me a little 5B workout, a little 5B edit. Why don't you use a cup, dumbass? I'm going to take it and measure it out. What do you mean? You can just tear the cup. Huh? You can tear the cup. Oh, that would be smart. After you clean the rice out, is to put half a cup of water, so a little bit less than that. Put it in here. Go ahead and make sure all the rice grains are actually in the water. Go ahead and swirl it around and put it in the rice cooker. So, this fantastic investment, not sponsored at all, it was like 25 bucks, lasted me for like over eight months now, so trust me, get the Aroma Rice Cooker, whatever brand this is, I'll, I'll plug it in first. <laughs> not even plugged in. Uh, little panty dog food, huh? <laughs> this shit literally looks like dog food. <laughs> I eat it every single day though. <laughs> Doesn't look appealing. I'm not honestly not looking forward to this at all. I'm genuinely not looking forward to it whatsoever, but uh, it's fine. It'll be, uh, I'll be able to get it down because I have to, because you know, you have to persevere through things that you don't want to do necessarily to reach the greater good of life overall. So, yeah. It's not good. It's not good at all. <laughs> you recording? Yeah. All right, so next step is to do the pre-gym ritual, which is just salt. So you want a quarter teaspoon, so you grab a little teaspoon measure. That's half, I want a quarter. So, quarter teaspoon. Put it in some salt. And you take half a scoop or a quarter scoop to the dome. A little bit. Not the easiest thing to get down, but it makes for a really good pump. You're gonna see in about five to ten minutes from now. Probably less than that, but it gives you a good pump. Alright, so starting off with some basic vertical pull-ups, going super slow and controlled, trying to get at least eight to ten reps, trying to beat my number from last time. So Quick little tip, whenever you're working out, you want to make sure you have all of your actual, like, you know, workouts in your notes. So, for example, go into my notes, look on here, going to pool day, I did eight pull-ups last time with a really, really good tempo, super slow and controlled. So, this time I'm going to try and get nine pull-ups with even better tempo. So, as you'll see, I'll probably get nine. If I don't get nine, I'm a failure. So. I'm just stuck in the darkness. Fact to buy fear There's a light at the end But it seems no one near I ignore all the warnings Though they were so clear And now I understand I gotta find a way out of here I know it's time for a change
good. So, Q-tip, if you want big shoulders, do rear delt flies, because yeah, you can hit your medial head as much as you want doing lateral raises. If you want that three-dimensional look, when you do like this, it pops out and bulges out. Do rear delt flies, come down at a 45 degree angle, slow and controlled, and trust me bro, it'll feel amazing. Just try it out. Oh, so that's like a movie. Really? Yeah. So that was a phenomenal workout. Honestly, better than expected. It's a lot easier for me to act like myself when someone's recording me. You know, everyone think Josh in the comments. Josh, he's a fucking G. He's the best editor I know. Cool ass guy too. But um, yeah, phenomenal workout. Great back pump, great bicep pump. You know, the cut's going well. This is just the beginning though. I still have like, you know, 10, 15 pounds to lose. So, you know, it's gonna be a process. So go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna show you guys the protein ice cream in a little bit. But it's only gonna have like music over it. This is considered the actual outro. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, let me know. If there's anything you guys like recommend for ideas or you know, recommendations for the video, put it down in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Thank you.